Hi everyone, this is John. I'm calling uh, from uh, Midas Software. Uh, today I'm here to present to you, um, to give to you the presentation on Midas Software Solution and Introduction. Again, uh, on behalf of Midas, thank you so much for your time despite uh, your busy schedule. I believe this is going to be a time whereby we are going to learn from each other and also to be able to understand what we provide in terms of the engineering solution. So I will, I'm going to start the presentation. I, I believe um, you'll have a, a good opportunity, especially to understand the MIDAS technology. So to begin with, uh, MIDAS, uh, solu MIDAS software solution, basically um, I'm going to share with you couples of um, information based on the, on the software and the, its application and also its strength and to try to understand how it has been used worldwide and also locally. And if you may have any question, uh, please again, feel free to uh, to join to us and we'll be able to revert back to you. So basically, uh, talking about MIDAS, MIDAS stands for Modeling Integrated Design Analysis Structure. Currently, we are the market uh, number one market share in the civil engineering solution having uh, over 600 professional engineers and we have actually distributed the software over 150 countries having over 30,000 clients and again sold over 80,000 licenses all over the world. So when you look at the global network, basically we have our head office in South Korea that is in Seoul, a small, uh, a small country, but again, with, with a dynamic technology in terms of engineering, electronic, and so on. So our head office is in South Korea. Then we have branch, we have nine branch office. As you can see, we have Midas China, Midas US, Midas India, Midas Japan, Midas UK, Midas Russia, Midas Singapore, Philippines, and also UAE. Apart from that, also we have partners and distributor that is around 9, 38, 38 all over the world. So not leaving out Africa. In North Africa, we have partner from Nigeria, Egypt, and also in West Africa, we have Ghana and Nigeria. In the East Africa, we have Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and the south Af and the southern part of Africa, we have South Africa as uh, one of our as one of our partners in terms of the distri distributor of a license in Africa. So as I, I may repeat myself in terms of the number of the license, we've actually sold over 80,000 licenses all over the world. So you can see how Midas has actually spread all over the world. So when you look at the business area, basically our goal is to provide an optimal solution for the practical engineer. So we find that we have our own consultant team who have actually involved and worked on the uh, project that are involved in the market. So they understand the difficult and the hardship the engineer they're experiencing in a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, modeling analysis and the designing work and also drafting work. So the same, same consultant team are also involved in developing the software. So in a nutshell, Maira does not just sell does not just sell the software, but we provide um, accurate and also practical uh, application of the software to the to the engineer, based on the plant structures, building structures, civil in, uh, civil structures, geotechnical. Now this is the list of the most uh, top. Uh, 100 top global company that are using our software worldwide. I believe you may see actually, or maybe you may understand, or maybe you may know some of the company. So these are the huge user of Maida's software, especially for the bridge, building, uh, geotechnical, mechanical. Locally, if you look at the locally, we have uh, Oricon, we have Atkin, we've got a ESM consulting engineer. We actually have clients again locally, especially both private and government, like you can see Kenya from, from Kenya, there's uh, UNRWA, we have also uh, Kura, we also uh, have Tanrod from Tanzania, National Highway Authority from Sudan, we've got also private company like Arup, ARQ, 
CPP uh, Botswana. And not only that, again, the lists keep on increasing. So this shows you that uh, MIRAs actually, we've got many users again in Africa. Uh, it cut across West Africa, North Africa, South Africa, East Africa, and also central part of Africa. I believe you can see how um, how um, how diverse uh, the software has been actually uh, used all over the world. Now, looking coming back to the technical aspect, we actually look. We have the standard codes. We have all the international standard codes embedded in the software. Meaning, for example, if you look at the uh, wind load on structures, we have all the international codes embedded in the software. For example, the Euro code or the BS code because I believe that most of the engineers, especially from the continent, they are more into the Euro code or BS code, or maybe, for example, maybe other codes from maybe South African code and so on. So on the wind load on structures, we've got the Euro code and the BS code, and also other international codes, if maybe someone may be interested. And on the seismic load on structures, again, we've got also like IBC, that is a code written in America. Also, we have also a Euro code and also other international codes embedded again in the software. Uh, same apply with the RSC design. Those who are conducting the RSC design, we've got the Euro code covered and also BS code, plus also other international codes again embedded in the software. Now coming to the steel design, we also have um, uh, again the major code like the BS code, Euro code, again plus other international codes. The same apply with the mesh design, uh, uh, steel reinforced concrete, and also cold foam. Especially these are the light uh, light steel. We've got the Euro code as uh, a designing code for the for the cold form uh, uh, structures. So you can see that um, we've covered actually all the international codes uh, in the software, uh, name it. Um, this shows you how um, uh, the software, uh, its capability is. Other than that also, again, on the wind load again, uh, we've got the Euro code, the BS, and also plus other international codes, seismic load, steel design, and RC design again, based on uh, the common codes that are used, especially the one which I've highlighted, the Euro code, the BS, or maybe you may talk about other international codes uh, from other countries. So on the side of the bridges, we've got the moving load, uh, uh, the moving load the code. Like as usual, those who are using Ashto from America, we, it's already embedded in the software. We also have the BS code, uh, BS5400. We've got also Euro code and also South African code because I understand that. Um, some of the countries also they're using South African code as a moving load analysis, uh, depending on uh, country to country. On the seismic code also we cover all the international codes. Again, the major one on the Euro code, and the same also apply with the PSC, which we have American code, Euro code, and also the BSC, which is here to come again as part of the PSC design. Uh, steel design also we've got the Euro code and the BS, which are the, so basically whatever uh, whatever I've highlighted is just. Um, to show that the majority of the countries, based on the, on the research that we've conducted, you find most of them, they're using the Euro code and the BS code, and maybe probably some of other international codes. So it shows you that whatever code that you're using for the standard, either it's for the structure or maybe for the, for the bridges, is still covered in the software. On the RC design, again, we've got American code, and also we have the Euro code covered, again, uh, extensively in the software. Um, steel reinforced concrete, Again, we have uh, this uh, SSRC 79, it's an American code, plus also other international codes. Again, composite design, we have a uh, Euro code, American code, and also other code. And the load rating, again, we have as uh, an ASHTO, uh, that's uh, an American code again. So this shows you how the software is embedded with all the international codes. So coming up on the uh, structure software, so basically, MIDAS engine, which stands for next generation, uh, provides you a one-stop solution for the structure engineer. So why do I say one-stop solution? Because uh, modeling, analysis, and the design uh, and design and design report can all be covered within the software. That's one. And number two, there is a communication between MIDAS engine with other BIM software, the building information modeling, for example, like Tecla and uh, Tecla and Revit. And not only that, so it means that this communication you can either import or you can export on either side. So, so 
it gives you a, a platform whereby if you've got a model from Tecla, you can still import it to Midas and do further analysis or designing and still again export it back again to the same software. Then number two, it, there's a communication between uh, CAD software, as you understand the AutoCAD. So you can either import and export in form of a DXF file. Again, also within Midas, we have the Midas drawing, which is a Midas iCAD. Again, uh, the communication of import and export, again, it's available within, uh, within the software. So this gives you um, a one-stop solution for the structure engineer because you agree with me that today most of us engineers, one of the tedious part is um, especially it's, uh, um, it's how to harmonize our work. You find that majority of the people, they're doing analysis on a different software, designing on a different software, modeling on a different software, or maybe talk about the drawing on a different software. But again, in Midas, in a nutshell, it gives you a one-stop solution whereby it makes the work of an engineer um, as uh, as easy as possible. So this shows you how um, the interface of Midas engine is related or is actually communicate with others, the BIM software and the CAD software as I had indicated. Now these are application of our uh, structure software. We've got the Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia, the Baji Khalifa that is the UAE and the Beijing Olympic. These are the major projects that has been done uh, with the software. So looking at the structure software, basically it's a building, we cover all types of the building. For example, the, rain, uh, the reinforced concrete, steel composite. You can also do other type of structure, like general structure. For example, the plant structure, airport, hangar, stadium, arena, gymnasium. And also you can do things based on the column shortening, especially if you want to predict, uh, 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 to predict the column shortening and the designing the post-station and the pre-stress concrete analysis, nonlinear seismic performance evaluation. And also you can do also what you call structure safety uh, through the detailing analysis. So being a building software, still you can also do, you can perform other, for example, either modeling analysis and the designing of general structures as I had indicated. So this is the capability. You can see now the Baji Khalifa, as you understand, Currently, it's one uh, of the tallest buildings in the world. We also have uh, the Moscow City Palace Tower in Russia. That's a twisted building. Also, we have the uh, masonry. Uh, that's a structure in Italy. Again, this is also uh, uh, the application of Maida's uh, structure software. Now, some of you may be wondering, oh, this person is just showing us the, uh, the international or maybe the global application of the software. And then how about locally? So locally, again, we've got actually, these are projects like Chuka University, that was 17 story. Again, this is part of the project of uh, application of MIDA structure software. We also have the Africa Population and the Health Research Center. That's the four, uh, it's got uh, four stories. Again, was model analyzed and designed by MIDA structure software. So this doesn't leave Africa out because already we've got some projects already which have been done with the software based on um, uh, engineer in the continent. Not only that, we also have the Masaki apart apartment, which again was part of the project that was done by the software. Uh, we also have the Bank of Tanzania that is in Mwanza. Again, this is also part of the application of the software. And not only that, also LPG bullet tank, as I'd said, general structure like this one can also be done with the software. So these are really project application that has actually been done with engineer in African continent. So to show you the strength of um, MIDAS uh, structure software or MIDAS engine, one is generating of dynamic report. So basically, uh, this report is actually uh, uh, given uh, with the result from analysis or design. You can actually, um, uh, you can table this report on in form of, um, of a table or maybe diagram or, or talk about a, a graph. And whatever report that you're going to save, you can actually, you can, you can save and modify it. Or still again, you can actually regenerate whatever you've saved and uh, try to modify it accordingly. So 
to emphasize, it's a user-specified uh, user templates, auto-arrangement modeling and analysis result graphic, one click to generate a structure calculation report. Again, you can do the uh, auto-update, so you can update it automatically from the software, and it's actually an MSA Word uh, format. So just I've got a clip just to show you how it works. So you may have uh, your report items, whatever you want to to put in the report, you can actually put on the report board, as you can see what I've done there. So all this is just to show you the arrangement of what you want to see in your report. So you select uh, whatever output after you run your analysis, you just now uh, generate the report, it generates automatically in a word format as I had explained it. And you can see all the results that are generated from the report. That again is an uh, MS Word, which you can actually convert it to PDF. And if in case you've done any modification on the on the on the, on the structure, you can actually uh, do the modification. Uh, after you've done the modification, you can rerun analysis and the design again. You can regenerate the report as you've seen it, and it's actually um, uh, generated automatic. Then you can save your report. So this shows you how this tool is very handy, especially you can agree with me for an engineer, especially to assemble your report. It's not that easy. So dynamic report gives you an, uh, an upper hand in terms, of, uh, in terms of arranging your work because you can actually, um, uh, you can save and modify. Again, if you made any changes, again, you can actually um, uh, modify it automatic. That means after you've run your analysis and the designing. Now, number two is a generation uh, that is uh, the structure calculation report and the structure drawing. So basically in Midas, after you've done your design, you can generate your structure drawing with auto reinforcement drawings, which you can actually uh, edit them or maybe save in an uh, AutoCAD and uh, do the editing. Or you can still edit in the software, or it's again out, as I have to emphasize, it's out, autom out, uh, automatic. Now, apart from that, also again, it gives you the calculations of the report. So again, I've done a record of that, at least to give you a quick recap on what uh, I'm talking about. So you, you, uh, you kind of classify what you want to see on your report, if it's the river bar, um, if it's the column or maybe beam and so on. So it generates uh, your drawings with upper, uh, upper reinforcement and the lower reinforcement. You can still again customize the report. You can put the name, maybe for example, the name of your company and all that detail actually, it's, it's editable. You can do the editing by yourself. So it lays you the layout of uh, the rivers, um, talk about uh, the beams and the arrangement. So as I had emphasized, um, you can see after you've done your design, you can still uh, obtain your report within the software. So it means that this software is not just a black box. Uh, it's not a black box because you're able to obtain your, uh, your structured drawing, you're able to obtain the calculations, and you can still modify the report. So basically the drawings are the 2D uh, structured drawing with all the calculations, including in the, in the drawings also. Isn't that good? So again, it's a, you can customize it. You can put the name of your company and all the details that you want based on your, on your client and submit it to whoever wants. So you can see how detailed it is, especially with the generation of the report. So these are the walls. So you've actually got the type 
and you've got your reinforcement and all that included in the in the drawings. So if you if you want to check the rebars also, you can still uh, generate from the from the drawing. So number three, so if I may repeat that number one was a dynamic report, number two was the generation of the structured drawings and calculation, and number three now is the bill of material. So you'll believe in me, you'll believe and, uh, um, that most of the engineer, the penny task comes on how to obtain um, the bill of material. So in the software, you get the BOM of RC members, either maybe steel members or the foundations and so on. So again, I've actually done a recording of this one because at least to have a, a picture of what is happening. So the, the bill of material to, generated based on the again MSA, um, uh, based on the on the on the Excel file, which you can actually check um, uh, the calculation that has been done, whether maybe it's a steel, and get also the form work and the total of the submission, which again, you, you'll be able to know uh, how much concrete is needed or maybe how much steel is needed, amount of quantity. And then from there, you can, uh, uh, you can proceed for the constructions and all that. So this is the type of the, uh, uh, the formwork that you're getting after it has sum up everything. So you get to know what is the bill of the material, whether it's a steel or maybe it's a concrete and so on. And number four is the detailing design uh, design result check. So after you've obtained your drawings, uh, you've got your bill of material. Again, uh, one of the main part again is about uh, the design report and also the checks. So basically, when you look at the software, it's a, it gives you actually the uh, 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 the code formulas. If it's a Euro code, you get the, all the formulas that are based on that code with clauses again. So it means again, you can actually go back and still confirm and try to calculate to see uh, whatever, whether maybe the answer is okay or not okay. So in short, um, after you obtain your, de your, 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 your detailed design report, it looks like this one. So you've got the sub clauses from the code. Again, there's the formulas and all that one. So this again shows you that the software is not a black box. So I've done also a record for that, at least to give you a quick understanding of what is happening. So after you've done uh, your um, analysis, you've gone to the design. Now you want to design, for example, by member, you can just run either maybe it's a, it's a column or a beam. And this is how the report is. You've got all the calculations, you can see the formulas, um, you can still go back and trace which formulas has been used and whether maybe the design is okay or maybe the design is not okay. If it's not okay, again, you need to go back and uh, try to check uh, on the properties, whether maybe to increase the size of a section or maybe to, uh, to increase the thickness and so on. So this is the type of the report you get again. Again, that one is a, a, word, a word file. Now, that was the structure, uh, the, the strength of the structure software in Midas, as uh, we've discussed. Now, let's look at uh, uh, the applications of Midas Bridge one-stop solution again. So, we have Midas Civil, well known for uh, all type of bridge designing. So, basically, again, as, a, as to emphasize, you can do modeling within the software. You can run your analysis. Again, you can perform your design. and obtain your design report with the calculations. So all these can be done within the software. But how does this software communicate with other software? To begin with, um, within the software again, in terms of the analysis, we've got what you call the construction stage analysis, um, whereby we understand that uh, this is very actually well, well covered within the software because you've got to understand the behavior and the nature of our, of our structures, how it behaves based on time. So all this is covered within the software. Again, if you look at the uh, finite element and the modeler, so these are part of my software, whereby, for example, if I may take an example, um, a PSC structure, you may want to calculate uh, what you call, um, uh, you want to get maybe the local stress, uh, the local stress check, so in that case, then you have actually to uh, import your model from Midas Civil 
in a line uh, format to minus FEA, uh, that is minus finite element, then it will be converted to the solid and you'll model it, you'll model it here and then again export it back to minus civil to run the analysis as a solid and check the stress, um, how the stress are behaving. So this is one of the aspects, especially the PSC, or maybe if you want to check on the steel, uh, steel composite, especially on the joints. Uh, if you look at the uh, the join uh, join stresses uh, between uh, between the what uh, between the steel and the pier. So still uh, in that area of the scenario, you may need now the Midas finite element for further analysis for, for further modeling and all that. So not only that, the upcoming software that is Midas CIM. So this is actually um, uh, we can say the bridge information modeler where it will entail um, it will have all like the draft, the modeler, the uh, the construct and the designer and so on. So this in a nutshell say that Midas bridge software gives you a one-stop solution because you can still do everything in one software. Now these are the application of Midas Civil. That's the uh, bridge software. We've got the Rusky Highland, that's a bridge that was designed in Russia. And then we have the Sutong Cable State Bridge in China and the Sunda Strait Indo uh, Bridge in Indonesia. So the Rusky Highland is one of the uh, longest cable state bridge in the world, then followed by the Sutong Cable State Bridge. So these are applications that has been done with the software. Now, if you look at the applications of the uh, Midas Civil, that is a bridge software, it covers all the conversion of bridges. For example, the skew slabs, the frame, the culverts. We've got the curb steel girders, composite integral bridges, uh, uh, pre-stress concrete girder bridges. So these are majorly things that most of the engineers they do day to day at uh, day to day designing. Other than that, also you can also do like segmental postation, like a uh, uh, BMCM, the incremental launch method, uh, free, cantilever, uh, free cantilever method. You've got also the cable state and the extra doors bridges, suspension bridges. So you can see um, it covered from the conventional bridges, segmental bridges, and also advanced bridges. So this shows you how uh, uh, versatility the software is. So it means that uh, even those who are doing the simple bridges, you can see utilize the software and um, in terms of the modeling analysis and the designing, again, if you are, got a complex bridge, if it's a segment of bridges, again, you can also do it with the software because, again, give you the capability of uh, modeling such kind of software and designing, and also advanced bridges like the cable state bridges. Now, these are just uh, application of uh, Maida Civil has been used worldwide. As I had mentioned, the Rusky Island, that's one of the longest and the tallest cable state bridge in the world. Other than that one, also we have uh, the Sotong Bridge in China. That's the world's second longest cable state bridge again in the world. Uh, still also we can do the PSC box gather as a curved with the superstructure and also um, with substructures. You go your peers and all that. So this is a bridge that was done in US. Again, I know most of you may be wondering why am I emphasizing much on the global. So locally again, we have uh, Kitengule Bridge that was done again use, utilizing the software. And also we have uh, Liguruni Overpass that was also done with Maida Civil as one, um, as a, a part of the local projects that have been done uh, in Africa. Again, also we have the Wami Bridge in Pwani region that uh, was also uh, part of the application that was done by Maida Civil locally. So let's look at the strength of Maida Civil, um, especially the bridge, uh, the bridge software. So within the software, one of the thing is the wizard. So wizard is nothing other than templates whereby you input all your uh, your material property, uh, your loading, and all that, and then you generate generate the model. So it helps you, it actually helps to kill time in terms of modeling. So it saves a lot of time and energy. So in Midas we've got all types of the wizard. For example, the base structures, you know, the suspension, the, the segmental bridges and advanced bridges. And also we've got also the, the conventional bridges as, uh, as part of uh, the wizard in Midas. So the existence of wizard, you'll agree with me as an engineer, 
it saves a lot of work. So I'll just uh, show you uh, step by step. So we have the RSC bridge, uh, the RSC slab bridge, and also the RSC frame or maybe box culvert. By the way, if I may ask, like as an engineer, how long does it take to um, uh, to design, to model, to analyze, and to design maybe a box culvert? Let's say around how many span? Maybe ten span? I don't know. Maybe. It may take time, but again, within the software, with the existence of the wizard, we are able to generate it within no time. So within just minutes or seconds, as long as you know what your input uh, or what your uh, imputations are, then you are able to come up with a model and you can save. So these are the wizard that you're talking about. So it's just a template. You just input your, you input your material, you input your sections and all that one. You define the material, whether it's a, a concrete or steel, then you can save it. Again, you can save this one and uh, utilize it maybe on the future project. If you may have maybe another project, you can just come and modify um, your input. That's it. So this is how quick uh, the wizard helps you in terms of the modeling. Uh, we have the free cantilever method. Again, we've got wizard for this. You can see now these are the bridges, if uh, that's what I'm talking about, um, which if you do manual again, you'll agree with me, you'll take uh, century to accomplish those uh, bridges. So these are the wizards again generated within the software. So basically you are able to um, to come up with your model. Again, you've got the tendons, you've got the tendon profile which you can generate again within the wizard. Still this is a part of the segmental bridges. Um, and these are the wizards. So these are, uh, these are an incremental launching method. You know how difficult it is to model such kind of a bridges. So with the with the existence of Wizard in Maida Civil, it has actually had to ease in the work of the engineer. Uh, uh, very 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 effective tool because it's it's a uh, it's actually easing the work and uh, it has made work especially the uh, the modeling work very easy and very simple. Why? Because just understanding what you are inputting in the software and then the software able to uh, generate the model as quick as possible. Now, looking at the suspension bridges and cable state bridges again, we've got also a wizard for that. You know how long it takes to model such kind of, a, a, let's say, a cable state bridge? It takes a lot of time. But again, with the existence of wizard, we are able to simplify the work of an engineer. As to emphasize, as I told you that our, our, our goal is to provide an optimal solution now you can see what we're trying to provide to the engineer, meaning a simple and easy tool for the engineer to be able to generate any type of a bridge um, um, that is required uh, for him to do. So grillage model, and uh, also we've got the railway track analysis, especially for the uh, soil interactions. So again, it's a very important feature, especially for those who are more focusing on the railway structures and all that. So we have also a wizard, um, that is a grillage model, which we've got a wizard for that. Again, we've got the wizard for the railway track analysis, which you can run the analysis for the soil structure interaction to see how it interacts with the, um, on the, on the geotechnical aspect. And then the common one that we know that the steel composite bridges and the pre-stress compos composite bridges, again, we've got a wizard for that. Um, so this, help to simplify the work of an engineer and make it more you know efficient effective you know um, and if you uh, you you are able to have all this you can generate the model within no time it saves you a lot of um, a lot of uh, what investment because it's a tool that will actually help you to generate the model as quick as possible so number one was modeling part which we've checked based on the wizard then number two it's analysis capability so in midas we have actually all the type of analysis for example uh, the construction sequence analysis like the way i was mentioning the construction stage analysis we've got actually uh, the um, the vehicle loading analysis where you can check the influence line influence surface especially on on a bridge then the model analysis, like the agent values, reach vectors, dynamic analysis, uh, especially for the earthquake as uh, earthquake affected region. We have the light displacement, the p delta analysis, buckling. So we've got all the type of the analysis and both of 
linear and the nonlinear analysis uh, embedded in the software. So for those who want to go for complex analysis, you can still do the nonlinear analysis or maybe the heat of hydration analysis, which is well covered again within the software. So this shows you the capability of the analysis. So we have all the analysis covered within the software. Now again, as we've seen on the, um, on the MIDAS structure software dynamic report, so this is number three. Um, uh, the dynamic report whereby you are able to generate uh, the analysis and the design, design result into a report, for example, into table, graphic, or text. So you can actually save this one or modify in a wide format. And if you made any changes within the model, you can still rerun your analysis and the design and then be able to auto-regenerate your report and in, a word, uh, in, a word, uh, in a word file, in a word format. So such kind of a tool are very handy to give you, you know, uh, a quick report, especially to understand of what is, uh, what is going on. So I've got also a video at least to show you how it works. So after you've done, you've checked your results, now you want to check uh, what result you want to save. So basically, in Midas, we've got a report somewhere here where whatever you're saving, you can save it on the report. And then later on, if you want to put it on your dynamic report, you just drag and drop. So you drag and drop, you just write there if it's a reaction result, stress result, so whether it's a table or maybe it's a diagram, it's a text, you can still do and it will generate that report. So we have a work tree here whereby you've got uh, the report area. So whatever you want to, to appear in the report, you can save it here. Then later you can open the word file and you can just drag and drop, drag and drop here. And if you make any modification, uh, you can still rerun the analysis and the design and you can generate your report automatic. So this is one type of uh, report, which again is very handy tool uh, to the engineer. Now that was dynamic report. Number four is a detailed design report. So as I had mentioned before, uh, in Midas you're able to get um, the codes clauses, the codes formulas. If you're using the Euro code, what formulas has been used to derive these answers? And you come up, for example, you can check on the torsion design or maybe shear design, flexure design, and whether it's failing, not failing, if it's failing, what to do. So such an Excel report uh, is generated after you've done all, uh, you've done your analysis, you've checked your result, you've, you've, you've generated your dynamic report. Now, finally, you need to get um, a detailed design report, which is actually generated in form of an Excel. It comes also with a diagram again. Uh, whether maybe if it's a PSC, maybe that it's a T sections or with all the formula that have been used for that. So again, I had a video for this one just to uh, to show you how it works. So for the detailed design report, you can select either maybe which members, for example, some engineers may want to check uh, the report maybe for the members which are failing. So after done that, then you can do the design and generate this kind of a report. So you'll have all, all the formulas, clauses, um, the shape, and the, uh, the formula that have been used in that code. And uh, if, whether it's failing, whether it's okay, or it's not okay. So you see, NG means not good. So it means you have to check what might be the, uh, the problem. So such kind of a report is actually detailed and a well-versed report, which is actually generated within the software. So if let's say maybe we want to, like we've seen it, uh, it was not good. So maybe we want to do some modification in terms of the sections. So you just go and do the modification. Again, you, you run your analysis and then you generate again, you, uh, you do the design and generate the report. You check whether maybe again, is it failing or not failing? So this is how Midas is well uh, versed. So the detailed design report, it's an Excel report in summary. Again, it, um, it's go to the calculation of the codes that has been used with all the clauses, which again gives you the confidence of understanding, um, uh, of understanding uh, 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 how the design has been done. So for example, you want to check maybe the design for this structure. So we also got other reports apart from the detailing design report. You can actually quick generate this uh, uh, 
we call member report, which again, it gives you an overview of what happens, whether it's failing again or not failing with also the diagram. And apart from that also, we also have the, now the detailing report with all uh, codes information written on it. So these are three types of the report that you can actually get, obtain within Maida's uh, software. Now, um, so far I've been actually covering only the structures, that is the vertical structure and the horizontal structure. Now I want to focus much on geotechnical as one-stop solution in Midas. So we have uh, Midas GTNX, which is a 2D. Uh, also soil work again is a 2D. So I want to focus much on uh, the application of the uh, Midas GTNX 2D to show you how it works and uh, what it has. So first, um, looking at the modules, we've got actually seven modules. We have the foundation, the seepage, dynamic, soft ground, or maybe consolidation, a tunnel, that's the ground, slope, and rock. So these are seven modules that, that, are, uh, extens, uh, uh, that, that are really covered uh, within the software. Now, uh, let's look at uh, features within uh, this software. We have the smart modeling. So basically, if you've got uh, your sketch from the CAD, you can just copy, that is control C, control V to the software, automatically copying all the region that they uh, require region within the software. So we call it smart modeling, which saves you again time and they're able to copy all the required region. And then number two, we have smart surface. So whereby you'll be able maybe, uh, you'll be able to, uh, to obtain for example, if it's a, it's a hill, maybe whatever particular surface with all um, uh, content in it, you can actually be able to, to capture it within the software. Then we also have the analytical and FEM, that is the finite element method. So these are a method of calculations that we utilize, it, especially on the geotechnical. Analytical, it's manual, and this now is the usage of the software, the finite element method. So within the software, we have the analytical, someone can do the analytical method. For example, if you want to calculate uh, the slope stability, if you want to check, for example, the uh, safety factors, you can now use the, uh, what you call, um, limit equilibrium method, which is um, an example of analytical method to calculate for the safety factors of a slope. Now, um, if you want to, for example, if you want to do things based on the uh, strength reduction method, you can actually use the finite element method to, to check, for example, how the stress is behaving, the displacement, uh, talk about the forces, uh, the contours, and so on. So these are two methods, which are uh, the manual and the, the finite element method, which is well covered within the software. If you look at other software, you find that uh, for example, the finite element method you have to do with another software, or maybe the analytical method, for example, if you look at the analytical method, if you want to maybe check on the foundation, or maybe slope, set factors in the slope, again, you have to use another software. But within the software, it's actually, you can cover both the manual and the finite element uh, method. We have also smart analysis. So we've, we, we cover all the seven uh, analysis in the software, for example, the foundation analysis, seepage analysis, dynamic analysis, uh, talk about the consolidation analysis, tunnel, uh, slope, on, uh, slope stability analysis. So all that is covered within the software. Uh, also, after you've done your analysis, you need to kind of uh, check your, to review your result to see whether um, will allow you to go uh, and perform um, um, uh, to go and get the report or not, or maybe to perform the analysis or not. So we have the smart technical review. So you review to check all your results. Then from there, if all is okay, then you can go and perform your analysis. So this again is a very smart tool which uh, helps you to understand maybe um, um, what needs to be done before you proceed with your analysis. So it even advises you on what to do. Then we have the couple analysis. So basically this one is, a, uh, it's actually a combination where uh, of a seepage analysis and the slope stability analysis, whereby uh, you 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 are required to to uh, to calculate uh, what you call the the pore water pressure, which you need to do the seepage analysis. 
After you've done the seepage analysis to obtain the pore water pressure, you export that result to the slope and do the slope stability analysis. So that is covered within the couple analysis. So this shows you that minus GTNX, again, the 2D gives you a one-stop solution within the geotechnical applications. So these are applications of MIDAS, geo, uh, MIDAS engineering software. So we have the Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia, we have the New York subway, there's a tunnel that is in the US, and then King, King's Cross Station in the UK. These are uh, global applications of the software that has been done with the geotechnical engineering software. Now, what are the applications of the software? As we've seen, what it entails with Midas GTNX 2D. One, you can do the foundation, a deep foundation, and also soil structure interaction, as you've seen on the previous slide on the bridges, as we mentioned, the railway structure analysis, whereby you need to do the soil structure interaction. So there's that communication between the, the structure and also geotechnical. Then you can also do deep excavation and temporary structures. You can do underground structures, for example, the subway disposal facilities, and conventional tunnel intersection, and also slope stability, as I'd emphasize, and also embankment. Other than that one also, you can also do the couple analysis, as I'd emphasize, based on the seepage analysis, slope stability, and you can check on the vibration analysis for the earthquake and blasting. So these are the applications of MIDAS uh, GTNX 2D, which now, for those who are more focusing on a foundation, you can still be able to do both deep and shallow foundation within the software. Now these are application uh, tunnel underground structures that is um, uh, perceivers on Carlo in Finland. That was a nuclear waste disposal facility. Uh, excavation and foundation in Dubai, the Qatari. Uh, we have the pile wrapped foundation for 84 stories. That was actually a, a deep foundation. Then you also have uh, um, uh, that is the UAE, we've got the tower, uh, that is a Palvaso Vasas, uh, that's a 1D tower in UAE, it's around 80, 80 story building, that was a pile wrapped foundation again, that's a deep foundation. Then slope dump and offshore structures, we've got uh, structures in Taiwan, for example the storage reservoir construction, as a 3D slope stability analysis and also stress check for the retaining wall which again was part of the application done with the MIDAS software. So not only global, but again locally, we also have, uh, I believe all of you know, the Grand Ethiopian Rhinesis Dump. Nowadays they call it Millennium Dump. So the Millennium Dump was actually one of the application of the MIDAS GTNX uh, software in Africa. That's a huge dump again in Africa, as you're speaking now. Then we also have the Northern Collector Tunnel, which is also an application that has been done with the software using um, uh, the, so the application of the software that is made as GTNX. So this again, this is a local project that has already been uh, extensively done with the software uh, within the in the continent. Now for SoilWorks, we SoilWorks basically is a two dim uh, two dimension. That's a two D software where you are able to do the tunnel design. Um, we can do slope stability analysis. We could check the, for example, the safety factors uh, by doing the um, limit equilibrium method. You can do the seepage analysis, soft ground analysis, foundation analysis, dynamic analysis and seismic, especially the earthquake uh, region, and the couple analysis whereby you need to do to obtain um, uh, the pore water pressure from the seepage analysis. Again, export it to the slope to do the slope stability analysis. So these are the application of the, the 2D dimension. You can see how handy they are, especially for those who are doing geotechnical, uh, uh, geotechnical analysis. Now, um, we have also done some comparison with our competitor software, uh, World Wild. And uh, just to narrow down on the two, 2D application of the software, uh, compare with our competitive, so we've got the modeling type, the construction stage analysis, the general slopes, rock stability, soft ground, pile foundation, penetration analysis, and interpretation. So basically we, we focus on this area and see how uh, 
our software with our competitive, how they perform or maybe how it behaves, because it's very important also to understand what is happening outside us. So if you look at a general slope, especially at the limit equilibrium method, as I told you, within Midas 2D, uh, 2D software, that is Midas GTNX, you're able to perform both um, the analytical and the finite element method. Unlike now with our competitors, they have to use other software, for example, as you can see. So to perform such uh, uh, the manual, um, uh, manual calculation of getting, let's say, for example, the safe factors for slope. Then number two, there is also 1D consolidation, which again, within the software, you can be able to perform it. But again, with our competitors, they have to utilize again with other, uh, other formats to do, um, to be able to obtain uh, the, one, the 1D consolidation on the, uh, on the soft ground. Then uh, finally, on the deep foundation, that is a pie, especially if you're checking on the PY analysis, which again is possible uh, to do it within the software. But again, with our competitor softwares, they have to relay again with other software. So this is just a quick uh, review of what happens within Midas GTNX 2D with other competitors, at least to give an engineer uh, of what is happening within the geotechnical uh, software uh, application. So uh, moving on, uh, so this year we've actually introduced MIDAS on demand service, that is the MODS. Uh, basically, we're actually giving, uh, why we're we saying MIDAS on demand service? Because we're giving a special offer, especially the 50% off on the list price. And apart from that, we're also providing unlimited license functionality for the office's use. Isn't that good? So for example, if you, uh, uh, you commit on the software, you get a limited license functionality for the office's use, means for your engineer to utilize it in the software. So this is the focus of uh, Midas on demand service, whereby we provide the 50% off. Again, you have the unlimited license with functionality for you to use in the office. Other than that one, we also have um, where you benefit in terms of the modules. You get advanced analysis, design features, you get the wizard tool, as the way we had mentioned before. Then actualization, you get the latest updates. That's part of the package. Design codes, based on all the international uh, design code. Lock replacement, if maybe someone loses uh, his dongle, we can replace it without paying any fee. And then other than that, we also have the technical support uh, whereby you, uh, we actually uh, prioritize support 24 hours. So it means if someone has got any questions or maybe any queries, we respond to them as soon as possible. Again, you benefit on the on-demand meeting. So this is the package for the Midas on-demand service, whereby if an engineer will be willingly to go for it, um, it will be more, first of all, it's, it's, uh, you, you get the value for it, Again, you benefit out of it, and it's economical because you're giving 50% off of the list price. So you benefit in a way that um, you get to use the unlimited license functionality for your, for your engineer in the office. Again, you know, how, how valuable it is, you've seen the application of the software. So these are, in summary, um, uh, it's about the value, it's about the benefit the client gets, it's, a, it's about how economical the software is, especially to the client. So we've done some of the event in Africa, that was uh, some workshop um, in, other, in, 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 um, um, in Africa, especially for the engineers, both private and government. So these are just part of the, um, to show you that uh, we are also doing something in Africa, meaning we are not just uh, sitting, but we are trying to see how we can be able to interact more with the engineer in terms of the application of the software, hands-on training, on the usage of the software, try to check the design, try to help the engineer to, you know, at least to adapt to the finite element method uh, in terms of uh, engineering, engineering work. So these are just some of the peak, though there are many. I just wanted to show you that uh, we are also doing something in Africa. And uh, we believe that you will also, uh, we will also be able to interact with you more, especially on the usage of the software. 
Uh, as you understand, today was just um, basically the presentation on MIDAS, um, the application of the software, um, its strength, and in terms of the project application that has been done globally and also locally. And don't forget that um, this was the first day of our webinar, which was today. And we are having two more sessions that are, that are left. So based on the low price structure modeling, analysis, designing, drawing, the bill of quantity with MIDA software, we are having another session that is tomorrow, again at 11 a.m. Central Africa time. That will be MIDA Civil, that is now more not a presentation, but again, it's going to be a demo for the composite bridges. So please don't miss for tomorrow's session. The same time, and it will be application of MIDA Civil based on the composite bridge. So this is what you're going to try to model. We're going to model this kind of a bridge with a superstructure or the substructure, and also we design. We check what we've been trying to present to you. Um, that is uh, based on what we presented to you, that's what you're going to do the demo for tomorrow. Then the following day on the January 30th, at the same time again, 11 a.m. Central Africa time, it will be MIDAS Engine. So this is again the structure software that will be again at 11 a.m. That is a Central Africa time zone. We'll focus much on the reinforced concrete building. So we'll actually our task will be to model this kind of a building, inputting all the loading, do the analysis, do your designing, and check the uh, the report, for example, the dynamic report, check the design report with the calculations. Again, check the drawings on this one. And also, let's obtain the bill of material as we've emphasized. So this will be the task that we have for the remaining two days. That is January 29, 11 a.m. Central Africa time. And again, January 30th, 11 a.m. Central Africa time. So it will be bridge uh, demo and also the billing demo. So in case if you have any question, please, you may send me an email and I'll be able to revert back to you. So once again, I believe the session was okay. At least you, may, you, ha you had a, an overview of uh, the application of MIDA software and you've seen what we offer, what we provide in the market. So we really want to thank you so much for your time. And we know that it wasn't easy, especially um, most of us are busy. So for the remaining two days, please, we expect you to, again, participate on this, our online series. So based on your, on your participation, we'll actually determine how, how frequently we're going to organize this online session. So again, on behalf of Midas, I want to say thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to meet you tomorrow for the demo session and also the day after tomorrow. Thank you so much and have a good day.